particular product has been used by Tyker for 30 plus years to harvest material in their aggregate facilities. And as they use these elevated scrapers in these areas, they're able to cut through various lenses, chop that product up, makes it easier to process in the plant. They like to use that tool for the kind of production that they want to get out of their aggregate facilities. We're using the MS-34 scraper to take the overburden off. We transport that to feeders to go back for reclamation. We take the sand and gravel into a drive over feeder and it gets conveyed up to the aggregate plant. From the dealership's perspective, we've asked for this product for a long time on behalf of our customer. This particular machine, Tykert Fields, is critical to their business. They've asked for it to be put back in production. Holt to California has been very instrumental in convincing Caterpillar to figure out a way to produce this machine again. And between Caterpillar and Mega, they came up with a solution that uh, is, is excellent. A level two licensing agreement is a um, marketing and a commercial agreement between OEM solutions or Caterpillar and an OEM. And what that offers is the OEM the opportunity to utilize and leverage the Catamaran. Caterpillar OEM Solutions Group has, a, has had a long-term relationship with Mega. So Mega in this case would be able to utilize our tracker, our 631 tracker with the Cat brand on it you, and, and also go out there and leverage with their customers what all that means to a customer to have that cat brand. Mega can also then brand their portion of the product as well. We look for a quality partner that could build this machine for us. Been a very good partnership uh, from a Mega's perspective dealing with Caterpillar, um, obviously as well as Holt administering and taking care of the machine while it's been out in the field during the field testing. Where we've produced a machine that is exceeding its production compared to the old machines, we made that elevator assembly a little more durable more rigid, a much more easier adjusting tension system for the change in the flights on that elevator. Also with this capability to go ahead and raise up and large objects come into the cutting area, jump over that, go back into the material, continue to lift the material and fill that bowl up. It also has a rotating floor versus a sliding floor. This has done a lot of things for Grizzly operations. It works very, very well, dump on the spot. It also has taken away some of the maintenance requirements for a sliding floor. The rotating floor, not much happening there, not a lot of things to wear out, but very, very durable. The walls of the bowl is also a cellular design, similar to like a wall in your house to a certain point. It's very durable with the liners on it. It does last a long time. The maintenance perspective, if you talk to the maintainers, they're happy with it. The operators are very happy with it because it is performing very, very well. Relative to the older machines that we've been running, I can tell you qualitatively that it, it is a higher production machine. As far as operator comfort, much better. Uptime has been outstanding relative to the older machines. Well, from a productivity standpoint, the operator in the seat, you know, he has a new machine. And uh, the creature comforts in that cab, they're very pleased with. So from an operator standpoint, they're certainly liking the new machine. From a productivity perspective, as far as pulling the material and producing here at the plant, the MES-34 has reduced those cycle times at 15, potentially 20% less than the previous machines. So from that perspective, it's, it's doing very well. It's probably exceeded some of our expectations. They're very happy with the productivity of the machine. It's faster, ergonomically the machine is, is much safer, more comfortable for the operator. We're able to use this machine in a similar fashion that we did the old machine, but now today we can have the emissionized engine, quicker hydraulics, and uh, we've got a very productive tool. Unless Mega and Caterpillar come up with a, a, a better machine th than what we've got here, I think this is probably gonna be the tool for, for our future, yes. Yeah.